Cleaning up fit here. Today we're in the shop and I wanted to tear down this new Dana 44 M210. This is out of a 24 392, so it's the new full float. And I want to see what that full float looks like underneath this rotor. Uh, the best way to tell from the outside that I can tell differences of, first off, this cap right here is going to have a hollow cap. So you can tell in the end versus it being a solid axle shaft. And then on the back side here, you'll see where the ABS sensor actually goes in through the axle housing instead of through this flange. Normally on a non-full float, this emergency brake flange comes out and it has a spot in it for the e-brake. On this one here, it's actually got a spot machined for it. And then on the front of the center section here, you'll see it has a capital F, capital F, I'm assuming for full float. So I seen that, I seen those. Other than that, the outside, it looks pretty much the same as another Extreme Recon 456 M210 Dana 44 e-locker. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear this off so we can look in here. I want to see what this full float looks like. Normally on a full float, like on a one ton, you would have a hub that stuck out of here with an axle shaft with a bunch of bolts that you pull your axle shaft out separately from the hub. Then there would have that hub on there. This one's a little bit different. I'm assuming this axle shaft is splined on each end and goes through this bearing. Uh, like, kind of like a front wheel drive car bearing. I'm assuming it's going to look like that spline on each end. So we're going to tear it apart and see if that's what it looks like. Because I'm curious, and I figure there's probably a bunch of other people out there who are curious, who either don't want to tear their brand new one apart, or uh, they can't find anything online. Because I looked and I don't see a whole lot. So I'm going to be the guy to tear this one down. It's not overly complicated, but we're going to tear it down and see what this one looks like. So I'll be back with you. So right off the bat, you can tell you got kind of like a big old hub bearing here. Uh, it's got your bolts on the backside like you'd normally have to pull your shaft, but I can see it's an actual big bearing. So we're going to be getting in there, checking that out. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really want a Snap-on sponsor. That would make my day right there. I would take half of a Snap-on sponsor before Blue Harbor Crate sponsor. Hopefully someday we can get a Snap-on uh, discount even. I don't even, I don't need a full sponsor. I need a little discount. I'm gonna peel these nuts off the back here. A bit of fluid on the floor. It'll be all right. on both ends. This end here looks fairly normal. This end, not normal. It's not really what they, uh, they look like. So, so full float, people want to know why that's better. It's because your, your axle shaft isn't carrying the weight of your vehicle. You got something else. So normally if you had a hub here, that's getting your bolt, your wheels bolted to that hub. That hub is what's supporting the vehicle. Weight. This axle, it's only in charge of momentum, forward and back. It's not in charge of, woo, it's not in charge of weight. There we go. It was a little tricky, but it went. So now down here, we've got bearing assembly. Kind of cool, we got an O-ring right here. Let's slip that O-ring off for fun. I'm gonna stick a new O-ring in here. that off we should be able to get that so yep yeah, here this is actually what's carrying the weight of the unit being that you could pull this axle shaft clear out of here and this thing could still be rolled around on its own weight 
the actual shaft isn't doing anything but propelling the unit. So it's a super cool design. It's a lot different than what they've run for a long time. So something kind of cool. I was curious to see what it looked like. So there it is. Like I said, this one's got 13 miles on it. I'm going to put one new O-ring in it, put it back together, and these will be for sale. So if somebody's looking for a set of 456 geared Extreme Recon, Dana 44, M210, M220, I've got a set for sale for now until we sell. The front's got your cast iron knuckles. Um, it's got the bigger brakes. This rear, being an Extreme Recon, it's got the vented rear rotors uh, that you get on diesels, Extreme Recons, 392s. So it'll be for sale. That's all I had. I thought it was kind of cool to tear it apart. Have a good one.